What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. Today we're looking at a home theater projector by RCA I picked up at Walmart for $59. We're going to do an unboxing of first impressions, see what comes in the box, see the quality of the item, how easy this item is to set up, and last but not least, test it out plug it into our computer or whatever media device you'll be using this with. This is compatible up to 1080p via an HDMI cable and talk about some of the features and mess around with a couple of the different settings. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions and take a look at this really nice home theater projector by RCA for a pretty inexpensive price at $59. So here in front of us is the RCA Home Theater Projector. It's got a picture size up to 150 inches. Of course, the bigger the size, the less quality, but given that it is 1080p, we will test the upper limits of that quality at 150 inches. Of course, the best viewing experience will be in the dark, but as you can see, according to the front of the box, this will operate in lighter conditions. You do get a bar graph on the side of the box here. You can also see its capabilities, two HDMI ports, 50,000 hour LED lamp life, which is a concern of mine. Not that 50,000 hours isn't long because that is extremely long. Rather, at 50,000 hours, that shouldn't be an immediate concern, but if it does become a concern sooner rather than later. Let's see if that can be replaced. But for now, also you can see from the front of the box that you get a remote that comes with it. But most importantly, natively it shoots in 480p, but even though it only costs $60, you can still get 1080p via an HDMI cable. So really awesome to see. I thought this was a really good option at $60. So perhaps instead of buying someone a TV this holiday shopping season, buy them a projector. It does have a built-in speaker. We will test that out, but for now, let's talk about what comes in the box. So as you can see, we get a remote, we get a proprietary power in, it is a 12 volt DC connector. We get a user manual, the projector itself, of course, troubleshooting tips, which actually pretty much uh, encompass the entire use case of this projector. So instead of uh, looking through the user manual to find information on how to troubleshoot items, uh, do it via this slip of paper here. And last but not least, you get a lens hood. This doesn't serve any purpose other than to keep the lens protected if you want to transport this around the house, move it from room to room, or adjust the angle. Uh, if you do fear scratching the lens, put the lens hood on. It does extend uh, the protective sort of area around the lens and a remote. So you can actually control this from up to 15 feet away. All right, let's go ahead and get into the specifics of this projector. First impressions out of the box. This projector is smaller and actually lighter than I was expecting. It's an all plastic unibody construction and it actually has more ports than expected. What's really nice about the size is that this is compact. You can take it most places. You can easily transfer this. It makes it easy to hang from a ceiling, which I probably assume you can do with this. Uh, but most importantly, what catches me off guard is the amount of ports you have. So you have a headphone jack, an AV jack. You also have a micro SD card slot if you want to play uh, videos from your video camera or pictures from your camera. You have two HDMI ports and a USB 3.0 port. On the back is a VGA in if you want to connect this to an older style computer monitor. I think so far so good looking at this projector. I don't see any quality control issues here. At the top of the projector is your focus ring. So if there is an issue uh, with focus, you can focus it at the top of the projector. And also at the top of the projector is a zoom ring. So you can actually zoom in or out if you have this too close to the wall or too far from the wall. They do suggest 
placing this 1.2 meters away from the wall. That equates to roughly three and a half feet. So anything closer than three and a half feet, you will have a blurry image. Just like a digital camera, this does have a minimum focusing distance. Okay guys, so now that we've done the unboxing and first impressions, let's talk about some of the basic functionalities of this projector. So plug and play, you can pretty much plug this in via HDMI to a laptop or a television. When you plug in via HDMI, it will incorporate audio and video and up to 1080p. So native resolution for this projector is 480p, but can be scaled up to 1080p with an HDMI cable. So we can demonstrate that here today. We do have an HDMI cable connected into a laptop, but just a couple of little quagmires getting this up and running for the first time. Even though it is a plug and play device, let's talk about what you will need to adjust in order to get this up and running, which may be different if you are using a Windows computer. But let's go ahead and start off with the input source. So turning this on for the first time, uh, you'll be greeted with a pretty generic menu that actually looks like an Apple device, which might actually be confusing if you are using an Apple device such as myself. But as you can see, uh, plugging it in for the first time, we have it plugged in via HDMI 1, of course. You can choose between AV, USB, an SD card, or a VGA port, but we have the HDMI 1 port selected, so let's go ahead and utilize that. There is a peg at the front of the projector that lets you uh, adjust the angle of the projector. So if it's maybe just a little bit skewed on the wall, you can adjust it. One of the drawbacks to that peg is it does seem to slide around pretty easily if you're using it on a wooden surface or maybe a sleek surface, like maybe a marble countertop. But if you're using a laptop like I am, you will need to adjust a couple of different settings. So here on a Macintosh computer, uh, you'll want to go to a screen mirroring setting, which as you can see, uh, is detecting the on, or excuse me, the RCA projector. Now you can either choose to use the laptop as a separate device, which I am doing. As you can see, I have full control over the laptop, but if I want to move the control of the laptop over to the built-in display, which is our projector. We simply choose mirror built-in display and it takes us over to pretty much everything we have up and running on the computer and puts it on the projector. So in the box is an included remote. This will make it easy to select the input source, adjust the volume, uh, fast forward, rewind, uh, change channels, uh, turn the volume on and off, or turn the entire projector on and off. But you can actually use many of those features using the buttons at the back of the projector. So if you maybe forget the remote, you can access all the same settings just from the projector itself. So uh, in order to adjust the volume, you'll actually use the left and right arrow keys. Let's actually test this out again. Uh, only giving the impression just by touching it that it's a premium shoe but oh. and as you can hear the volume is exceptional uh, it goes up to 32 or all the way down to zero now even though it doesn't have the best base it's a little bit tinny it's a little bit flat it is crystal clear it is piercing and it's loud enough I think that if you have this on a table and we're giving a presentation at work, as long as you have people sitting around the table, they should hear this fairly easily. Okay, so now that we've talked about uh, setting this up and I've shown you the picture quality and you've actually heard for yourself just how loud this projector can get and just how clear it can get, even though it does lack bass, it is still loud. Let's go ahead and mess around with a couple of the uh, picture settings so you can best make use of this no matter which environment you use it in. As you just saw, the display went blank and that's because the laptop display went blank. So just keep in mind that if you're using this as a presentation, keep your display on and don't have it turn off automatically. So let's go ahead and mess around with a couple of the settings here. So you can actually choose between P 
picture modes, uh, you can actually choose between a user setting, which is a fully custom setting, uh, where you can adjust the contrast, the brightness, the color, and the sharpness. So uh, right out of the box, everything is set to 50. Uh, you can actually increase the brightness to 50, which is a little bit too bright, I would say. I do uh, like it just a little bit darker here. Uh, you can choose the contrast, which will bring out the color in the image, of course, or uh, soften the color if you decide to turn the contrast down. But for now, let's keep it at 50. You can choose color and then sharpness. Uh, sharpness, if you actually adjust the sharpness higher, the image becomes a little bit more granulated. It becomes a little bit more pixelated. Because it is set to auto and it does detect that it's a laptop it's displaying, it will automatically switch to the 16 by 9. So as you can see, the difference between auto and 16 by 9 is, I would say, minuscule at best. After having set it up and seeing the results for myself, let's actually talk about just a couple of potential drawbacks and things you should know about. So like I said, even though the lens is capable of serving you for up to 50,000 hours, which is an exponential amount of time, by the way, the unfortunate news is it cannot be replaced. So instead of buying an entirely new bulb, which would probably cost more than the projector itself for $60, just go to Walmart and buy another one. And at 50,000 hours, you won't have to worry about doing that anytime soon. Now, another point I want to make is, like I said, in the box, you do get a hood for the lens. Now, this will come in handy if you want to uh, transport this around the house. It offers better protection against the lens getting scratched. And you also get a lens cap in the box, which I do recommend keeping on the projector if it's not being. Uh, if you actually run your finger along it, it actually feels pretty sticky. And if you actually try cleaning it with just your shirt, you'll find that you have a pretty difficult time doing so. so. If you need it to pitch upwards, or if you want it to lay flat on a surface, all you have to do is adjust this peg located at the front of the projector. The only bad news here, I think you can tell, and I did mention this earlier, this peg is a plastic peg. So, Actually, if you're propping it up on a table, now as you can see, the peg is fully recessed. Uh, we're not using any type of pitch here, but if we add pitch, you can see that the peg actually does tend to uh, move around a little bit. It could easily be knocked out of place and you would have to reset it. One final point I wanted to make is how loud the projector is and not volume wise, I think you saw that it does go between zero and 32 and 32 is fairly loud. This is a relatively small projector compared to other projectors on the market. In fact, it's probably one of the more smaller portable variations of the projectors you can find at Walmart and also the cheapest. But one thing I noticed is, like I said, even though the volume is loud enough, it's clear enough, you could hear this placed on the center of a table in a meeting, the projector itself is loud, and that is the fan that keeps it cool. So I think you can almost hear, it's probably just a few decibels quieter than say, a pump for your air mattress would be, for example. Uh, and as you can see, they're turning it off is uh, you hold down the power button and then you click the power button again to turn it off. Now, even though this fan is loud, like I said, you can connect it to an audio source, but also the good news here is after having used this for a half hour, ha after having it been on and working and using it, it stays relatively cool. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and first impressions of an RCA home theater projection system for $60 I picked up at Walmart. Because I picked this up at Walmart, that makes it a big box good. Today we talked about what came in the box, 
the quality of the item. As you can see, it's a nice, lightweight, glossy plastic. It's relatively compact. You could take this around the house, transfer it from room to room. One minor drawback or take back is RCA does not include a carrying case with this. Therefore, if you do decide to take this with you, maybe on a camping trip or some kind of trip, uh, you need to protect the lens in some way. What you get in the box is a lens hood and a lens cap, but if you want to protect the entire system, you will need to find a third party bag to do so. But like I said, for $60, this is a phenomenal value. This is actually a really good option instead of maybe a TV this holiday shopping season. Check out this projector. It's capable of producing up to 1080p image quality. Uh, it can actually expand up to 150 inches. It comes with remote, comes with two uh, HDMI and one USB, and uh, it has a couple of settings you can adjust. For $60, I think this is a phenomenal value. It should last up to around 50,000 hours. So say a two hour movie, you can watch 25,000 two hour movies. Really cool that this is only $60. Projectors are usually extremely expensive. Uh, even replacing critical components to them is expensive from what I understand. So the fact that this is $60 has the lifespan that it has, the capabilities that it has. Like I said, if you wanted to use this as a presentation at a meeting, the volume is great. Lacks a little bit in bass, but for the most part, it's loud, it's clear. We listen to this at the highest volume, no creaking or cracking. Uh, it sounds like a well put together device. RCA is a name brand, it's a brand you can trust and I think this projector is a good example of that. So with that being said, I'm gonna close out this video. My name is John, hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Hit that bell icon to get notified when I post to YouTube. Share this video with friends and family. Tell them we review items from big box retailers, brick and mortar stores, as well as online stores like Amazon. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.